According to a Russian military official, Russian air defense systems in Syria intercepted a number of missiles launched by Israel during airstrikes. Deputy Chief of the Russian Center for Reconciliation of the Opposing Parties in Syria, Vadim Kulit, told the Russian news agency TASS, in a span from 2339 to 2351 on July 19, four F-16 fighter jets of the Israeli Air Force entered Syria's airspace via the U.S.-controlled Al Tamp zone and fired eight guided missiles at facilities southeast of the city of Aleppo. It was noted that seven of these were intercepted by Russia's Pantsir S and Buck M2. Kulit added, one missile damaged the building of a research center in the settlement of Safira in the Aleppo government. It's reported to have killed senior Hezbollah and Iranian fighters. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Israel is knocking down Iran-backed militants despite intervention from Russian air defense systems. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time as a bonus. In 2015, Syria was at the risk of being overrun by ISIS. Russian President Vladimir Putin had sent troops into Syria in 2015 to defend Bashar al-Assad regime, a longtime ally. The mission was to protect the strategic military base, which has later turned into a full-blown attack on ISIS. A lot of Russian military hardware is now deployed in the country. The latest Israeli airstrike is thought to have killed Ahmad al-Amin, a military commander of Hezbollah, whose group fought in Syria on behalf of Bashar Assad's forces. Hezbollah is backed by Iran and is opposed to Israel. Israel has launched hundreds of strikes against Iran-linked military targets in Syria over the years. In many cases, it had to circumvent air defense systems set up by Russia. Russia has vehemently opposed Israeli strikes over the years. In January, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Jerusalem should provide Moscow with intelligence about potential threats so it can neutralize them rather than attack them itself. Let's check the capabilities of the two Russian air defense systems one by one. The Pantsir S-1 missile system is a self-propelled surface-to-air missile system. It's designed to provide point air defense of military, industrial, administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles, and UAVs. The detection range is 22 miles or 36 kilometers, and the tracking range is 17 miles or 28 kilometers for a target with 2 meters squared or 22 square feet RCS. Pantsir S-1 is unique as it's the first version of the Pantsir family of air defense system that combines short to medium range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery in a single platform. The surface-to-air missiles are the 12-57E6 or 57E6E two-stage solid-fuel radio command guided missiles. The missiles have a range of 20 kilometers or 12 miles, a max speed of Mach 3.8, and carry a 20 kilogram or 44 pounds high explosive fragmentation warhead. Anti-aircraft artillery is the two-dual 2A38M 30 mm auto cannon guns that are fitted with 700 rounds. The maximum rate of fire is 2,500 rounds per minute per gun. 
the cannon has a range of two and a half miles or four kilometers. Buck missile system is a family of self-propelled medium-range surface-to-air missile systems developed by the Soviet Union and its successor state, the Russian Federation, and designed to counter cruise missiles, smart bombs, fixed and rotary wing aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. Buck M2 was accepted for service in 2008. The Buck M2 missile system is equipped with a 9S 510E command post, a 9S18M1E detection and target designation radar TDR, and up to 12 9A316E loader launcher units LLUs. The system uses 9M317 missiles. Each missile has a length of 5.5 meters, a wingspan of 860 millimeters, and can carry up to 70 kilograms or 154 pounds high explosive fragmentation warhead with radar proximity and contact fusing system. The missile is propelled by a solid fuel propulsion system. The system has an operational range of 30 kilometers or 19 miles. The missile uses semi-active radar homing and has a maximum speed of Mach 3. This is not the first time Israel has got its way around the Russian air defense systems. In May 2018, Israeli Defense Forces released a video showing the destruction of a Syrian Pantsir S-1, which came as a big embarrassment for Russia. According to Israeli Defense Force, the decision to strike the Syrian Pantsir S-1 anti-air missile system was made after it opened fire on Israeli aircraft. IDF said in its statement, the installation attacked by Israel's Air Force fired missiles at Israeli aircraft to shoot them down. The IDF will continue to act against anyone who tries to harm the state of Israel and its inhabitants. While the two Russian systems, Pantsir S and Buck M2, are very capable, they have limitations. Israeli military planners seem to know how to deal with these. It seems that Israel is using saturation tactics with the potential use of decoys to overwhelm the systems. Few comments from the Russian establishment indicate that Washington does not approve of the continuous Israeli raids and Russia has more freedom to act against Israeli airstrikes. As per reports, the situation has prompted Russia to supply Syrian forces with more advanced air defense systems and know-how. Some experts are of the view that the results are already showing since Syrian air defenses were able to take down seven of eight Israeli missiles. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days, but currently Israel is having its way.